Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today we're solving a Thermo Sudoku by Philip Newman and it's called Circulation. This was posted in GAS on November 17th, 2024. Let's have a look. So normal Sudoku rules apply, meaning we are going to place the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3 by 3 region. And then we also have some thermometers in the grid. And along the thermometers, digits have to increase, starting with the lowest digit in the round bulb, and then going upwards as we move along the thermometer towards the tip. So for instance, in this very long thermometer, first digit has to be lower than 3, and it can't be a 2, so it's a 1. And then we have six more cells, and we only have six more digits that are bigger that we could put in them, so we have to put them in that order. Now this thermometer is eight cells long, so there are going to be two possibilities, because it's one shorter than the maximum length. So each cell will have two possible digits, but because there's already a six in this row, we know this must be a five, which kind of propagates downwards like this. Now, if we take a look over here, this is our last thermometer, it is shorter than the other ones, so this could technically be as big as six, six, seven, eight, nine, but because we can't use seven and eight, let's look at what the maximum actually is here. So this could be a nine, then a six, then a five, so that would be two, three, or four, and it can't be a four. And it can't be a one because there's a one in the row. So then this would be three, four, or five, this would be four, five, and six, this could be five, six, and nine. However, there's a 3 and 4 in the column already, so that's going to be my 5, 6, and 9 in that order. That leaves me with only 1, 2, 3, 4 to place in the region. 3 and 4 are already in this column, so that's going to be a 1, 2 pair, which resolves using the 1 there. And that region is done. Now I have a 9 here, which tells me that's an 8, which propagates. Now what? So I have 4s here, here, and here. They're looking into this region, so I know the only position for a 4 is right there. I have 2s here, here, and here. They're looking into this region, so the only position for a 2 is going to be right there. I need a 1, 4, and 5 to finish this column. There's a 4, 5 there. There's a 4 there. And I'm going to place my 4 there to finish off. Now I need 5, 6, 7, and 9 in this region, and I already have 5, 6, and 7 in this row, so my 9 will go right there, and then I have a 6 right here, so the 6 has to go right there. My last two digits in this column will be 7 and 8 in that order, and I still need to place a 3, so 3 in this row, so the 3 will go right there, and I'm going to place a 9 to finish off. In this row, I need a 1, a 6, and an 8. That can't be a 1, that cannot be an 8. And I can't quite finish that row yet, so we'll leave that be for now. In this row, I need 1, 2, 5, and 7. That can't be a 2, because there's a 2 in the region. That can't be a 1 or 7, so that's where my 5 is going to go. And I already have a 7 in this region, so the 7 will end up over here. The 1, 2 pair gives me a 6, and that is taken care of. And I should be able to finish this full region now. And that's going to be 3 and 5, and those are also resolved. To finish this row, I need a 3 and an 8. I have threes and eights in columns one and nine already, so they will go there and there. Here I need two, seven, eight, and nine. I should probably resolve this five, seven pair that's just sitting here first because that tells me the seven and eight will go here and the two and nine will go in those two positions. To finish this row, I need a four and a one. To finish this row, I need a two, a three, and a nine. I have a three and a nine in this column already and I have a nine here, so that resolves itself. Now in this column, I need a two and a three to finish off. In this column, I need a 6 and a 7 to finish off, and here I need a 4, a 5, and an 8. I need a 5, 8, and 9 to finish this row, and that should kind of bounce back and resolve everything here. And here I need a 1 and a 4, perfect. These can't be 5 or 7, and that should be everything I need to finish off. Oh, and it looks like I have some kind of a little error here. What have I done? Oh, that's just going to be 7 and 4. So I just swapped those two digits. That should be easily resolved. Right on. So I hope you enjoyed that one. If you want to check it out yourself, the link to solve is in the description below this video. And I will see you again three days from now.